this perspective emphasizes the knowledge flows, co-creation and diffusion based on exchange within heterogeneous and multi-stakeholder networks, context, platforms, because this can lead to increasing access to knowledge, learning by interacting, until co-creation of new knowledge and innovation development. On this regard, it is recognized that multi-stakeholder networks are likely to, increase, to create that space that is needed uh, to increase the sense of community, of the plurality of Aki's actors, the capacity to interact and build common visions uh, towards system transitions in uh, rural areas uh, through leveraging uh, knowledge exchange and scaling the innovations across the agricultural sectors. This is why the contribution of the CAP networks to ACIS is particularly emphasized by under the uh, framework of the AP Agri Initiative. Given these premises for the well functioning of the CAP networks, a stakeholder mapping is a fundamental activity to conduct in view to better identify the relevant ACIS actors and the respective roles and action played within the rural communities and to enable their full engagement in knowledge flows. Livia from Aki team conducted the Nagis Actors uh, uh, mapping for the Hungarian CAP network, of which the Aki is a partner. Livia, how did you organize the Aki Actors mapping in uh, Hungary? Hello, I'm Livia Kranitz from the Institute of Agricultural Economics uh, in Hungary. Uh, I'm here because I would like to give a brief overview of our rec recent uh, research. Uh, in which uh, we did a map mapping exercise to identify the national uh, AQ sectors. Uh, we did this um, research in 2022 for the preparation of the National COP uh, network. Uh, the research based on, um, on, um, on the identification of the institutions and, and, um, and entities which are available in the Hungarian AQ. Um, first, Firstly, we uh, identify the group of actors and their characteristics, and then we try to identify those um, sources, um, administrative databases and other sources uh, from which we can get uh, information about them. Uh, so finally, we identify 11 uh, administrative data, data sources. Among, among of them, uh, we used the Horizon uh, dashboard. Also, we listed the members uh, in the EIP operational groups. Also, we, we, we could list the advisors and the advisory organizations, research institutions, also the universities which are dealing with agriculture as well as the secondary schools due to their role in, in, uh, in, in the AKIS, in the national AKIS. Uh, so finally, we identified 1,300 uh, uh, institutions and, and, and entities and, uh, and right now this is uh, really the essential uh, information and network basic document which we use uh, for, the, for the national uh, COP network activities focusing on the innovation and digitalization. How do you use and by which benefits the actor mapping when organizing the actions of the CAP networks? If we would like to organize or, or manage certain activities, then we just open it and, and use and uh, picking up uh, the stakeholders who are relevant and probably interested in our uh, activities. Uh, so it was uh, uh, the mapping exercise which was uh, really, really important and, and, uh, and useful for us because during the process we get no many uh, stakeholders personally as well, uh, so, so we really enjoyed it. Uh, and I just uh, I can just uh, encourage encourage you if you would like to know more about it or 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 um, interested in this research just uh, just read the compendium which is available on the Aikis Connect platform or uh, or write me an email.